All right, it's another rainy day in Seattle. Not too bad, but we're gonna see if it's a good day to fly. What's going on everybody? I hope you guys are doing good today. Uh, today I am showing you the Phantom Rain wetsuit for the Mini 2. It is supposed to make your Mini 2 waterproof through the rain. Um, I want to go through a couple things that I've ran into. Um, first thing I want to show you guys is the process of putting on the two rubber bands that seal off the battery compartment and the SD compartment. Um, we'll go over that. It's a, quite a hassle. I feel like it's important to know none of the YouTube channels or the, you, the actual website showed that. So stick around for that. The second thing I wanted to show you guys is just the test flight that I took and I want to show you, you know, show it flying through the air. And I actually wanted to show the um, how how drenched it got the midi 2 gets pretty drenched and we'll open up the seal and see how dry it is and see if it really works um the third thing i wanted to go over is just you know one quirk and not nothing big so stick around for that so those are the three things i want to show you if you guys are interested in this product i think you know after going through this you'll know this product a little bit better and hopefully you guys could get a have a make a better decision for yourself so let's go start off with uh, showing you the process of putting the two rubber bands on you'll have to do this every single time you want to fly when it rains so let's get that going two rubber bands will go around this and cover the battery um this yeah this piece right here too Kind of covers this if you, you know, easy to do this, so watch out for that if you're trying to land it. All right, so I think that's the setup. Uh, that's what you got going for this uh, waterproof case. Let's take it out for a spin. Took it out, landed it, about 60% 60, 60 battery life. So it did get a little bit of a liquid on the lens. I um, don't know if you can see that, but uh, it looks like it handled it pretty well. Let's check this. Let's see, let's lift up this cover, see what, what it looks like. Oh. Overall, pretty much dry, so it did its job. And let's check out this over here. Let's see how this dry this is. And yeah, looks pretty dry to me. So. Wanted to show you guys this before um, I logged off. 
but adding that foam on here would uh, cause this not to work anymore. This is that cover that comes with uh, the DJI Mini 2. See, as you can see, it doesn't reach. It goes something like this, but since all the new foam's around it, it just doesn't cover it anymore. So that's another. Um, just another effect of uh, adding this on. So. so what do you guys think? I know it's just two rubber bands that's keeping this thing um, not malfunctioning in the, in the rain. Um, you know, for me, I believe in it. I always check the seal after. It's always usually, it is pretty dry. All the, It is dry all the time. So I believe that this is doing this job. Um, you know, the two quirks, yes, it's a hassle putting these rubber bands on. And yes, you're not, you're not able to use the propeller guard anymore. But those trade-offs, I will take any time. Now, I have the ability to fly, rain or shine. I could, you know, if I learn something on YouTube, say a new drone move, now I could just go out there, turn this thing on, fly in the air, even if it's soaking wet. I could get my drone skill levels up, and, you know, that's positive for me. I will take that any day. And, you know, so, yes, I love this product. And, um, you know, from there, I hope you guys got something out of this, got something from this, and uh, hopefully you guys have a better idea what this is and you know I wanted to mention also that the foam the black foam around does come with this too it, you know it's it's um it takes about 10 minutes to install but you know it's pretty simple and it does stick on there pretty well so anyways besides that I hope you guys have fun I'll talk to you guys next time